now we come to a concept called mobility mobility and this concept has been actually kind of very common sensically introduced what do we mean by mobility in our general terms say say there is there is an object say a ball here right and and say say there is a ball here and and say there is there is a ball here right with okay and, and, and there is another ball here maybe a heavier one maybe a lighter one now how do i know out of the two which one is more mobile how do i know the mobility of the ball so what do you mean by mobility what what do i mean by by mobility how movable it is how mobile it is right now you see if i if i kind of apply a force on it okay and it attains certain velocity right say say i apply a force f1 and it attains a velocity velocity not not v2 the the velocity v1 and here here i apply the same force f1 and this this attains a velocity v2 now what happens after some time right it lags and wait and then then maybe settle down to a velocity so so what happens if if say say v2 is 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 greater than v1 okay if v2 is greater than v1 and i have applied the same force the cause the cause of both of the motion both the motions is the same right so if i have applied the the same force and this velocity is higher what does that mean it yeah. means that right. that that ball 2 is more mobile right so so it implies that ball 2 is 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 more mobile more mobile right understand is that okay now what happens i am dealing with electrons now now let let us come to the 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 conductors okay so let us come to the conductors what happens conductors are first of all maybe they may be a solid where where the mobile carriers are the mobile carriers are 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 inevitably electrons right if it is solid it could be a liquid also a liquid can conduct if you put electrolyte in it right so so when when let me let me move it a, a bit when electrolyte dissolved in it right when electrolyte dissolved in it then then what happens the 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 mobile carriers are the mobile carriers are 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 both positive and negative charges both positive and negative ions is it not the mobile carriers are both positive and negative ions and, and and it could be a gas what kind of gas a gas that is ionized ionized gases okay now there are various techniques of ionization i'm not going into the detail of it some of it is maybe bombarding it with with light where you call photo ionization you can you can heat it that is called thermal ionization okay or or you can use a field so you can ionize it with a field so ionized gases there 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 too the 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 mobile carriers are the mobile carriers are are both the positive are both positive and negative ions positive and negative ions right so so but my focus right now 
is 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 a solid conductor right now what do i do here to to make make it an objective thing i see that if if velocity is higher for a given force then mobility is higher then velocity should remain in the in the numerator right and f should go to the denominator right why why see see greater v for the same force for the same force greater v implies greater mobility right so that's why v should go to the numerator now you see if if in in these two cases now i wanted to attain the same velocity v so i'm 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 using the different color same velocity v and this fellow this fellow he required a greater force he required a greater force f1 and this fellow required a smaller force f2 so you understand earlier my forces were the same and my velocities were different now i am saying i have kicked it only that hard so that it it attains a velocity v and the second ball also only that hard that it attains a velocity v so if v is a constant then what does it mean which is more mobile the one that i applied the lesser force on right so here i applied a lesser force on the second ball and and less means more when can that happen in terms of mobility the less means more so when can that happen that can happen only when f comes to the denominator correct so what i am trying to do is i am trying to formulate an expression that will give me an idea of the mobility in the real world right not yet in the microscopic world so so mobility i define i kind of define as as, as denote it first of all by mu and i define it by the ratio of the velocity attained upon the force applied higher the quantity more is the mobility right now now we come to the solids we saw those three types of of conductors and we come to the solid and let us try to see so what happens in a solid is you have you have some electric field applied right there there is some electric field applied inside the solid conductor correct and this is the electric field and and what happens you have those those electrons here right now these electrons these electrons having charge e will force will feel a force in this direction right in this direction and this force is how much this is equal to e upon e correct e into e q e is the force right here the charge is e now due to this due to this force in the steady state they would develop they would develop they would develop they would develop a velocity steady velocity vd do we see that this velocity is vd do we get that and this is the drift velocity that we had just seen we have been discussing this so this is drift velocity now i can very well say that mu is equal to what the velocity which is the drift velocity divided by divided by the ee correct e into e i can do that right but now you see since we are talking about the mobility of of the of the solids mobility in the solids 
what happens and, and and the charged carriers are all e always e so this will always be a constant in all of them right you understand so so why keep this this is not going to do anything apart from apart from unnecessarily making our calculations involved right so what i do e even if i if i multiply this by e right this thing by small e then to this whole thing will be representing the mobility only correct so but but you should understand why am i doing this because i know that i am dealing with the solids and in solids all the all the mobile carriers are electrons so so this has nothing to do this is defunct for me in a sense because this will be there in all the all the expressions okay this is a constant okay a, a, a universal constant equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs right so so this is not going to any way alter since it is there uniformly constantly in all the denominators this is not going to do anything with with the value of this so ultimately what i decide is to drop this term while discussing mobility because that will save us quite a lot of calculations right so i then decide mobility to be equal to vd upon e correct and what is vd after all what is vd we know that vd vd is so so i i say this is mod of that right mod of vd vd is nothing but e e tau upon m right Sir, then do we take the other into right? Which VD? Sir, the E that you said that it would be it would come in every term. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, sir, in the end, we will have to take it in account. No, because we are trying to just get a number that will give us a higher value of mobility. Understand? Mm -hmm. You won't have to take it into account because all of them would be would be feeling the same force, right? Proportional to E, because the force becomes proportional to E. That's what it is trying to say. So E itself represents if if the charge is the same, then E itself represents that force, right? Because the force itself is proportional to that E. But uh, what if we cut down by that uh, new E of the VD? No, that's what I'm saying. Even if I take only E. That pretty faithfully represents the force that is applied here. Okay, because the force is proportional to E. But still, so we have one more small e left with us. Where is small e? This. So when we put it in that uh, mobility thing, we get. E yeah, yeah. Out. So yeah. can't we cut that E and E? In? Yeah, yeah. We could have cut that, but but then we define it as this. We do not keep this here. So VD upon E becomes actually E tau upon upon M. Get that? Yes. It simply becomes E tau upon M. <coughs> right? So that is our expression for mobility. E tau upon M. Correct? this this becomes our expression for mobility <coughs> okay